Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are still here early in the morning. I'm wiping Mr. Sandman out of my eyes because guess what? We want to bring you these amazing trucks that Toyota has to offer. What do I have next to me? This is it. This is the one that people are yearning to get behind the wheel, including me. It's a 2024 Toyota Tacoma, all new, but an all new trim known as the Trail Hunter. But before we get into the redesign of one of the ultimate mid-sized trucks, let's talk about what's going on here. The mid-sized truck segment is on fire. Everybody, it seems, is going through and redesigning their vehicles. New Colorado, New Canyon, the Frontier was redesigned just a couple years ago. The only one player who doesn't have a freaking mid-sized truck is Ram. And that blows my mind because once upon a time, there was a truck known as the Dodge Ram Dakota. But we're gonna forget about that because guess what? We are here at the Toyota booth. And it's interesting because I brought you the Trail Hunter badging from SEMA last year, it first appeared on the Tundra. And a lot of people were confused. What is this Trail Hunter? Is it just a, a, a special badge? No, it's an all new trim. And on the Tacoma, this trim actually comes in above the TRD Off-Road Pro. So what I wanna find out is if you're looking for a mid-sized truck and you like to go overlanding, is this better than the new Ranger? Is it better than the Canyon, the Colorado, the Frontier? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the suspension. This has a two and a half inch lift, old man emu suspension, forged monotube shocks. Up front, you'll see the new design of the Tacoma, and I love the white. Full LED headlights, daytime running lamps. Love the way they did the flat black massive fender flares the one zonk i have is this guy right here why is that not functional is beyond me especially because on the tundra the bigger brother it is functional so that to me is a zonk but coming across the front you have your toyota heritage badge and i'm loving the copper color they integrated led lighting a light bar you don't have to go buy extra light bars if you don't want to because you have one built into the grill forward facing camera and then as we work our way down more functionality, LED rigid lights. So these aren't just generics. These aren't Walmart specials or Kmart blue light specials. These are rigid, high intensity LED fog lamps. And I love the way that they kept the rectangular theme up top and also on both corners. Two and a half inch lift is gonna give us plenty of ground clearance. You're gonna have real metal skid plates, which I'm gonna have Steven kind of test his skills and show off these skid plates underneath. You can see the old man emu suspension, all of the control arms, the shock absorb, the whole nine yards, really cool to see here on the floor. I can't wait to drive this thing with you as we go off-roading. Now, as we rise up, very simple layout to the hood. I think one of the things I like specifically on the Tacoma over the Tundra is how you have these higher peaks on both sides. From behind the wheel, that's gonna give you a good visual reference point for when you are off-roading. And remember, this is specifically an overlanding trim. So you can still get your TRD Off-Road Pro and go hardcore if you don't plan on overlanding, but this is specifically for off-roading and the overlanding. Now, as we come around the bend, just like that bronze badge on the front, check out our bronze wheels. Love the way that they went black on the lug nuts. It's all the little touches the Toyota Heritage Badge, nice design. And then if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of this wheel? 18 inch wheel wrapped with these 33 inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory off-road tires. I think probably one of the zonks that you would probably have is it's not a 35 inch tire. And it's crazy that mid-sized trucks, 33 inches is as big as they give you from the factory. So kind of interesting that they do that. I'm gonna have Steven kind of zoom in. I know it's a little dark, but show you the bronze upper control arm, the Trail Hunter badge, all that suspension work. Like I said, O-M-E, Old Man Emu suspension. And then that fender flare is looking killer. Now, if you're wondering what's the size of the tire, 265 on the width, 70 series sidewall. And I love the way Goodyear Wranglers are like bulletproof on the sidewalls. They will not get a puncture. That's how good they are. Now, as we rise up, we have the iForce Max. What does that mean? Underneath the hood, we have a 2.4 liter turbocharged inline four that is a hybrid. 
So just like the Tundra, you could get an iForce Max, which is a hybrid, this is a 2.4 liter turbocharged hybrid. Now, if you're complaining, well, Joe, that's a small engine, blah, 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 326 horsepower. So you're gonna be looking at class leading horsepower in the midsize truck segment, and of course, tons of, of torque. This is what I'm talking about. Love the way you got this snorkel. Of course, it's reversed so that you don't suck the water in, but I love the way right from the factory you have that. You got your 360 degree cameras. Love the way the white with the gloss black, our Trail Hunter badge, all new badge on the Tacoma, all new grade. And then as you drop back, you'll see the overall proportions of the new Tacoma. I think a lot of people are gonna like what they've done on the exterior, but wait until I show you the interior. Of course, we're gonna have our frame sliders that come with the Trail Hunter package. That's gonna help protect that frame from all the rocks. Flat black on the door handles, and then you'll notice some nice touches from ARB. So, of course, you have this rear piece that obviously is gonna be able to attach all sorts of lights. You could put some packs on here, but ARB really knows how to make really great accessories for your trucks. Back portion coming towards the rear, swinging it around back. Love the flared fender look, especially with the extra large fender flares on this truck. You got your iForce Max badge because we got that turbocharged power. And then from the back, the, the way that they did the bed with the Tacoma name, let's see if I could open this. Is this one gonna open? Let's see. Nice power folding, look at this. Power folding, give you plenty of room. You got your tie down locations. What's nice is, is that you could actually move these. So depending on what you're trying to tie down, you can move these. On the passenger side, we actually have a home power source, which is great. And then of course, this is a full composite bed. So it's not gonna rust. It's not gonna get all messed up. Even a built-in air compressor. So think about it. If you gotta air down the tires, you could air them back up when it's time to go home. Or let's say you got a track car and you're messing with air pressures at the track. This is your uh, you know, track companion that you're towing your trailer with. You could take care of all that and you got LED lighting. So that's the really nice touch. Whoops, I almost forgot it's power. So full power opening and it's crazy how you get used to a certain thing and then you have something new like this Tacoma. It even has the button and I'm gonna do, I know we have already opened it, Stephen, but it's got the button on the driver's side so that if you have your hands full of Twinkies and you need to get them in the back, you don't have to drop your Twinkies to open up the tailgate. And then coming it down, you're gonna have, of course, your full recovery hooks. I like the way they mount the spare tire high up out of the way. And you're gonna have your full tow capability with this. At least 7,000 pounds of towing with this setup. And you got, Steven, show it to him. Love the way they did this Trail Hunter. It's like a compass badge. Love the way with the T in the center. And these nice ARB steel bumpers, steel modular bumpers, nice touch. But let me show you inside and what this new Tacoma Trail Hunter brings to the table. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 Toyota Tacoma Trail Hunter. Man, oh man, I can't wait for the official media drive. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, how much does this cost? I guess that's the biggest question because Toyota has not released pricing yet. But I am gonna bring it to you as soon as I find out also remember that this is a pre-production unit. So a lot of the finishes, especially on the door panels, it's smooth. That's not how it's gonna be when you get your actual Trail Hunter. But let's see what you get if you're going top trim for 2024 to the door panels. Up top, I love the soft touch material. The two-tone gray with the orange stitching is specific to the Trail Hunter. They even put a Trail Hunter badge on the door panel of course, if you're here in Vegas, you could put all your poker chips in that top side pocket. And then down below, it's a little on the tight side. So keep it to a hot dog and maybe a Pepsi to wash it down. But going from the door panel to the dash, we have the JBL sound system. You got another off-road Twinkie tray. Easily put a baker's dozen. I like this almost like concrete material. Very, very interesting. Instead of using gloss black, the Toyota Heritage badge, the stitching, the gray, 
looking fantastic. You're going to have that ginormous 14 inch infotainment system. There is your start stop button. Dual climate controls, love the toggle switches. You got a nice oh crap handle for your passenger. USB C's. You could put a freaking cheeseburger in here from Mickey D's. This is going to control your eight speed automatic mode selectors. Lock the rear diff, disengage your stabilizer bars, so electronic disengaging of your stabilizer bars when you're off-roading. Two cup holders, soft touch material with the stitching. Open it up, you could put a million dollars in there. No, not the million dollars you won at the Flamingo. You could put 10 hundred gram bars in there. And then the seats. Love the soft text material, the piping, the stitching, the design. Really nicely done. And then of course you have power controls for the passenger, power controls for the driver. And then I'm going to make Steven really earn his money. Stay right there, Steven. Don't even move. Look at what we got. A removable Bluetooth speaker, JBL. You could rock out to baby got back while you're camping. Put this in your tent while you're having a good time. But why don't you go ahead, come over to the business end. I want to show you where you're going to have a good time with your clothes on behind the wheel of this trail hunter. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel of the trail hunter. Like I was saying, this is really set up specifically for the Overlander. But you know what? If you want to have the top trim, this is it for 2024. Of course, you're going to have your power seat controls. Remember, this is pre-production. So some of these finishes are going to be a little bit different. You do have your trail hunter all-weather floor mats. That's worth an extra five horsepower right there. And I like the way the cab is set up in the new Tacoma. Everything is really exactly where you would expect it. I'm six feet tall, and I feel like I definitely have more room than the current Tacoma. And then you have a digital display, which I can't show you, so it doesn't matter about Steven zooming in. But I do like the steering wheel. Two-piece leather. I just wish it had the Trail Hunter badge. That's my only complaint there. But you got, you'll have the digital display, which we'll show you when we do the media drive and all the other nice technology you know, appointments. And you got the rear seat, but we need to wrap it up from SEMA. We're not driving it today, but we will soon. So stay tuned, but let's wrap it up from Las Vegas. All right, guys, early bird catches the worm and we definitely caught a few coming to SEMA early in the morning. Definitely want to thank the whole Toyota team for getting us access to this all new Trail Hunter. Let me know in the comment section. Do you think this is the best new truck? Would you have this over a Ranger, over a Canyon, and the rest of the competition? I can't wait to find out what you have to say about it. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up. Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. He's pushing himself to new limits here at SEMA. And Stephen, I appreciate the hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.